Hi, Reef. I found two puppies last night when it's raining. And, um, well, I already heard them crying yesterday outside when it's raining so hard. And uh, I was looking for them, but I can't find them yesterday. So when we arrive from the store, we have to buy some stuff. And when we arrive from the store, we saw them outside just like that. And as far as I know of, the kids are playing on them. They're, they're throwing them, they're playing on them, they're hurting them, as well as the, the neighborhood doesn't like them or some of the neighbors doesn't like them because they, they're looking for, like, shelter. They're looking for um, a home to stay, but no one would accept them. So when I arrived last night, I saw them, and it's raining so hard, they're so wet. So what I did is I took them inside and then um, dried them out with a piece of cloth. And that's what they look like now. And then I, when I feed them last night with bread, they were literally crying. You can see it on their face. But when I first took them, they're crying as if they're so afraid that you're going to hurt them. This one here, the black, the black poppy, I believe, as what I can see and as what you can see in the video, has skin disease. And also, most probably have internal organ problem. Because he's so bloated. The brown one, though he already he is he started to he's starting to show some skin problems here, but he's not in really bad shape. We don't know yet because I haven't brought them to the vet up until now. Now this is the cage where we put them in last night. So what we're gonna are we gonna do is we're going to clean it, okay, so that they we can put them back there. This is what they looks like. They're so sweet. Last night I can't hold them, but now I can touch them without them crying. See, as you can see that. Hi, baby. There, there you go. We ha I I have to bring them to the bed. However, uh, what I can see is that, um, yeah, we don't have that much financial capacity to bring them as of now, but I'll do my best to, to bring them to the vet soon because the other puppy needs immediate attention with his skin problems and he's really bloated look he's bloated maybe there's something wrong with his internal organs or their worms we have to treat them first this is the, the story of these two dogs now, the black one doesn't have a name yet. However, the brown one, I named him Choki. So, the black one doesn't have a name yet. If you, if you have any idea on what name we're going to give them, are we going to give them, please write it down the co on the comment section. The black one is girl. Choki is a male puppy. Well, now we have to put them here first. And then later on, we're going to put them inside a cage with a 
clean piece of cloth where they can sleep and stay. The black puppy is chilling right now. I, I guess he's afraid or he's th there's something wrong with him. There's really something wrong with him that we we, we have to immediately you know bring bring him to the bed. I believe that the previous owner baited this puppy with motor oil an old motor oil like if you're you're going to change your motor oil the the used one they're also being used to to dogs here in the philippines that's how they do it they don't bring dogs to the vet they just put on um, used motor oil on their skin so that they will heal that is how they do it they don't really bring them to the vet because uh, may maybe because of financial issues or it's just that they don't value dog's life you know what guys whenever i look into um, my dog's eyes i don't i don't see just a dog i can see a soul i can see someone there's life in them that's why when i when i saw them chilling outside my house i really can't help it i i really need to you know take them in that's how i felt last night when i saw them and last night they keep on crying because maybe they're so afraid someone you know touching them took them but but now they're they're much more comfortable compared to yesterday so i don't know for how long they've been outside or for how long they've been in the streets and for how long their old owner you know put them away but one thing is for sure, they're neglected, abandoned by their previous owners. It would really be nice if I can bring them to the vet immediately. And then I'll post an update about them. Now their cage is being cleaned inside the house and they're just waiting for it. I'm just waiting for it to be clean so that I can put them back inside so that they can comfortably sleep and rest up until the time they can be cured. Okay guys, so this is it. I'm just waiting for, for the cage to be cleaned and then I'll put them inside. This is the cage now. So what we're gonna do is, what I'm doing is I'm putting used paper bag first inside it. for now because they might still poop inside so we have to put them there yep put do 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 come on come on we have to put the black one first okay Tiki, 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 come on, Tiki, 
Come on, Chucky. See, they're no longer crying when I'm carrying them, unlike last night. There you go. For now, they'll stay here in our kitchen. Um, I mean, back doors. And then I'll update you again later.